Small wars can win or lose big battles. The enemy is winning in this battle between rubbish, the weapon of the enemy, and clean paper, the asset of the defence. Everywhere in New Zealand, valuable waste paper is gathered carelessly in with rubbish and dirt. With refuse and sweepings, it is taken away to be burnt. Once burned, it cannot be recovered. These fires burn for Hitler. This waste helps Goering and Ribbentrop. Citizens who destroy clean waste paper discard a national asset. These hands work for the Nazis. This despoiling of clean waste means another ship exposed to danger. So long as we must import paper in ships, so long will the underwater menace endanger their safety. Now here's a simple idea for sensible people. If clean waste paper is kept separate and kept clean, it can be collected separately, carried away when a sufficient quantity has been assembled, and prepared for shipment by such easily operated machines as this old hay baler with which the Salvation Army is doing work that really counts in the war. Whenever a load is ready, the bales can be carried through safe local waters to local mills and speedily returned for use in the presses that cut and print cartons and various containers, wallboard, paper bags or envelopes. From these machines the paper is cut ready for the factory that will use it as containers. The offcuts are saved for repulping again and the packet is glued ready for folding at 90,000 an hour. This process depends on you. The system is simple. Telephone your local waste reclamation committee. Collection will be arranged. And after that, the organization carries on. The collection is arranged by waste council committees at each center. The work of preparation for Matara or Wakatani paper mills is done by the Salvation Army. Profits are shared equally by the Salvation Army and patriotic funds. This organization could deal with many more tons of paper each month. Much more should be available. New Zealand is wasting thousands of tons and this wastage means a tragic setback to the war effort as a whole. Shipping space must be conserved. The system can be organized in business buildings, in flats. Anywhere enough people can get together to save waste paper and keep it free of foreign matter like glass, cellophane in window envelopes, carbon paper, used tins, cigarette ash and butts, or food wrappings. Keep it clean and separate, and it can be used and used again. We must risk lives and ships unless the community wakes up to this simple but vital job of saving waste paper.